Hi, Les from Retired and Living the Dream. Today's video is going to be an interesting video because it's all about medical insurance and why we should have it and the safety net that having medical insurance living in Thailand affords us. Now this is the first video of two videos because I'm going to be interviewing a representative from Pacific Cross Insurance and this is your chance, this is your chance to be able to ask whatever questions you want just send them to me on the, on the below in the comments then I shall ask the representative the questions that you want to know so ask away anything and anything that you probably want to know because this is your opportunity to be able to do it and I'm traveling to Bangkok to interview this representative for Pacific Cross and following the interview I'll put it online for those people to watch the interview and he can give you the answers that everybody wants to know so this is your chance your chance to be able to ask whatever questions you want the most asked questions that I get on my channel are one visa and second medical insurance asking my advice how much it costs me and I've done various medical insurance covers and I'm actually insured myself with Pacific Cross so I've got to turn around and say I've looked at Pacific Cross and other insurance companies and I find that Pacific Cross is one of the best so but ask away ask as many questions as you want answering and I'll forward all of these questions to the representative and hopefully we'll get some answers on the interview. So, okay, it's a beautiful country, Thailand. Breathtaking views, scenery, landscapes. The food is amazing. The people are amazing. But what if you're sick? What if you don't have any medical cover? It's like having a safety net, having a medical insurance. And I've, I've got just the basic cheap insurance. But for me, that's my safety net. That's all I could afford. And I know there are many people in the same boat as me that the price of insurance is very, very high. But hopefully we can cover some topics here that you may find it's actually more affordable than what you first thought. And there's ways and means of obtaining medical insurance that will stretch maybe just a little bit further than what you thought. When all said and done, Thailand is a very, very popular place for medical tourism. Thailand is much cheaper than the majority of countries in the rest of the world and they provide excellent medical treatment for whatever your ailments are. There is a procedure here in Thailand and I can almost guarantee it's much cheaper here than it is in your home country. So in your mind, what is a good insurance coverage package? This is your chance to ask the questions, ask to see what's covered. There are many, many questions that people ask in me and now, so to speak, in ask the horse's mouth. By putting your comments down below, it gives me the questions to be able to ask this re representative on your behalf when I do the interview next week in Bangkok. This is an example of some of the questions I'll be asking myself is, what does typical health insurance policy cover in Thailand? Uh, how much does health insurance policy cost for various ages? What about pre-existing conditions? Can you still get pre-existing conditions covered? on a new insurance policy. As retirees in Thailand, that's one less problem you need to be thinking about is are you covered for medical insurance or medical emergencies? So there are various options and various plans and the representative is here to answer any and all of them questions that you may have. And I'll get his contact details. So if you need to ask more specific questions, then you'll be able to contact this representative and it's one step closer to obtaining your medical insurance or peace of mind living whilst your golden years are advancing. Now there are various medical insurance policies out there that really aren't worth the paper that they wrote on. For example, some policies have a 300,000 baht where you have to pay yourself. You might be covered for 4 million baht, but you have to pay the first 300,000 baht yourself. And that's any one claim. So it isn't just one claim a year, 300,000 baht why it, it just doesn't make sense but some of these policies that are wrote wrote out they are just for ticky boxes to be able to get your visa why settle for second best have a look at the policies read the fine print and make your own mind up but at the end of the day there are other ways for self-insurance and things like that so these are the questions that i get asked the most this is your chance to ask your questions again. I keep going on about this, about you being able to ask the questions, but this is your opportunity. Ask your questions and I'll ask the representative for you on your behalf. 
and then watch the interview. This will then give you the answers to the questions that you want. And most importantly, give you direct access to the guy who can tell you exactly what you're insured for and what you're not. And he's the guy that can tell you exactly how much the policy is going to cost. He can answer all of your questions that you keep asking me. I know a fair bit about medical insurance and things like that because I've got medical insurance, what's covered and what isn't covered. But it's like everything else. Medical insurance, nobody wants to claim but everybody hopes it's okay when it comes to the time for claiming. Ask the questions that you want to know. This is your chance and opportunity, so don't miss out on this. Leave your comments, questions down below, and I'll ask on your behalf the questions that you want to know. So I look forward to the interview next week in Bangkok, and then I'll post the interview later on the week.